probably don't want to talk since we're on live. They, everybody that's watching can hear. <laughs> hey folks, welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious and today we're in a public park. We're going to be making an amazing barbecue chicken. So, um, what you need for this is you know, chicken, raw preferably. We have an undercover beer because we're in a public park. And potatoes and stuff that we're going to do together. But we were just doing this prep. We're going to actually make a video and edit it and put it together. But I'm just showing you where we're at. We've got a chimney and that kind of stuff. Briquettes. And I prefer the briquettes that are like made out of coconut shell. They burn harder and longer than regular charcoal. So how's everybody been? I hope everybody's had great holidays, and when I say holidays, Pride Month! <laughs> Gotta go for Pride. I did the Pride March, and I got all my stickers from local events, and it was so much fun. So yeah, and then... I see course, your friends are joining you. <laughs> of course, then this last weekend I totally did the Dairy Day and the Meridian and Walk That Parade. Talk about country. So. Should, should I, if people ask questions, should I Remember, I'll help everybody you. can hear you. Right? Hi, everybody. <laughs> the producer Here. is holding the camera. Um, and they said, they said, where have you been? Oh, you know, partying like a rock star, like usual. Let me take a pan of the park. I'll show them where we're at. Can't really, this is a photography. <laughs> the photography tripod. Oh, yeah! Photography so tripod. <laughs> it won't, it's very sticky. Yeah. Hi, cameraman. Hi, Smitten with Juju. <laughs> smitten with Juju. Turkey! Juju. You get someone all the way from Turkey right? saying hello. So basically, I have vegetable oil, just regular vegetable oil. I have this chimney. I remember we used our chimney in our last video, but I don't know if it ever got done because I lost audio, so I wasn't ever able to put it up because I unplugged the audio cable like an idiot. Sheila says hi. Hey! Um, so, we have a little bit of oil on a napkin. So that's all you need to put the briquettes on fire. I do have to get a lighter out of my purse, so I'll be right back. They probably know you can't see the comments, right? Uh, or do they? Oh, okay. Are they really gonna follow you? <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to be a video a videographer. So basically what we're going to do today is we're going to take this chicken and we're going to rub some spice all over it. We're going to put it in this barbecue and I'm going to tin foil some mini potatoes and I'm going to take the vegetables and I'm going to put that in the tin foil wrap and stick it in there with the chicken. It's about halfway when the chicken is done. It takes about an hour and a half to put the chicken on the barbecue like this. So It'll be a long process. I'm not going to stay live the whole time. That's why I say we're going to edit the video later. But I just thought I would check in with everybody and say hello because I miss my fans. And, you know, it's been a long time. So, of course, because um, we're in a public park. Today is my daughter's 21st birthday. Uh, that is my second to the youngest of my third child. I brought little cakes to the park, so she's watching. She can certainly come to dinner. She's going to go hang out with my sister today. Mm. But we're going to party like rock stars tonight, hopefully, and have a lot of fun since we're 21st birthday. Where are you guys going? You look fierce. Downtown Boise. Mainly cooking show says you look fierce. <laughs> I'll just shout out the comments to you. You can respond. <laughs> Here, so the only utensils we have are plastic. We're going to not be cutting anything up. So this is just going to be wrap up. So you notice the table. I put tin foil on it. 
I have no idea if it's legal to barbecue in the park, but we're going to find out. Um, so that I don't burn the table that's wooden and filled with varnish. Um, yeah, that's it. basically it for the stuff I like to use. It says they burn cleaner, hotter, and longer. There's no harmful additives to these protect. And I probably shouldn't be showing the name. But they're made out of coconut shells, and they don't make your food taste like uh, coconut, if you're wondering. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit conservationist. And I'm frivolous as well, so I'm a happy medium in between. I don't know how many briquettes I'm actually going to go through to be able to cook this chicken today, but before I get completely started, I'm just going to get everything prepped and ready and, you know, basically, all this butter, it's like Irish butter, it's just pure Irish butter, and I was like, yeah, because I'm like mostly Irish myself, I think. We'll find out if I'm related to my brother who's mostly Irish. He did that DNA thing with the ancestry I did. Jonathan says hi. Who? Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Jonathan Willis? Hoover. Hoover. Okay. I know a few Jonathans. I don't know what the difference between Irish uh, butter and regular butter is, but it sounded good, so I just got it. And then I got this uh, organic garlic. Who knows if it's really organic? I mean, how unorganic can garlic really be? Um, That's a good question. Right? I mean, like, it's a root, so... <laughs> that is so funny. I don't know how organic it be, so maybe this is an oxymoron, but they put it in a plastic container. This man with Juju's brother wants to know if you're single. I'm single. <laughs> um, but... Ready to mingle? I don't know if I'm a, a guy dater kind of person. I'm kind of more into looking for a nice older lady, maybe 40, 50, 60 year old women. I really like short haired women. So strong personality, confident, like to have fun, drink but not too much, maybe smoke a little weed but not too much. Um, and of course in the legal states that you can do that. I, I mean, I don't partake, but if they do that kind of stuff, I'm not against it. Judy says he's 42. Well, you know, is he a feminine girl, boy, or is he like a, a manly man? The manly man had a feminine man. We're, we're going to use this as a dating website. Can you zoom in and out on the phone? Yeah. Just by squeezing? I think so. So my producer is actually a, oh, yeah. a filmographer, and he actually does film and video and that kind of stuff. So here's the funny thing. He's using my cell phone to video today so that we could go on YouTube Live. And this is all new to him, so I'm getting to teach him how to use a cell phone. <laughs> it's great. Um, what else? So, oh, yeah. So I've got these slices um, that came in a package that I got from Albertson's Grand Opening in Meridian, Idaho. And I just mixed it with, so it was like a some type of bar seasoning that you see next to the meat counter a lot and it's really got a smoky flavor. They have it for poultry, they have it for fish. Um, Smitten with Juju, yes, we're still in Boise. <laughs> she asked if you're still in Boise. Yes, we're still in Boise. And I said that like a foreigner, oh my god. The foreigners, Boise, right? Boise, and I see not Boise. Z. <laughs> I was born in Idaho, by the way, so I should know better. <laughs> So I added a little bit of cumin and a little bit of garlic powder uh, to this seasoning package. And from what I can see in here, there's like a little bit of dill, there's some chili peppers. Uh, so it should be really nummy. So I'm going to rub down the chicken with some vegetable oil and I'm going to wrap it in tin foil. I'm not going to use the chopper because the chicken's going to stand up too tall. You're going to shove that beer right up the ass of the chicken and um, set it up on its end. I'm going to put tin foil all over that chicken so it keeps the spices on it while it's cooking. And then at the last part of it, then I'll take some tin foil off so it'll start browning. 
Spin with Juju is coming to Boise in August. Oh, are Should you do going a, to a concert? <laughs> what are you doing in Boise? And thanks for the tip about the butter. Someone gave a little explanation about the Irish oh. butter. Oh, what is it about? I can't. They just come and they, they flash and then they go away. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. Irish butter is European style butter and has a higher butter fat content than the average American butter. Okay. Good, good comment. <laughs> so that means it's going to be better butter. Oh, what's this urn and oh, that's going on. Okay. Smith with Juju, we should do a, what about a guest appearance show? Yeah, we could do a guest appearance show. I mean, August is still going to be warm outside where I live. The guy does not allow uh, visitors uh, with the roommate status that I'm in, so I would have to actually do a video somewhere else because my little trailer is broke down right now. And I've replaced all kinds of parts on it. Like I've replaced, um, well, let's just go through the list. First thing I did was you want to sit? all the fuses out and I replaced every fuse, every um, relay switch. I replaced the solenoid inside of the battery disconnect station. Yes, I'm a handy girl. I replaced the solenoid next to the, the engine that sits on the inside of the firewall. And Smith with Juju says she's going to come see the piano guys oh, at the yeah. botanical garden. The piano guys are amazing. I have a uh -huh. CD actually in my Who car. are they? Are they like a cover? They are guys who can play piano like mad. You should hang out. She says she already has her tickets. <laughs> so how do you... I don't know. Sort of email you. You can right? just send me an email. Send at... Um, the genie be delicious at gmail? Yep, genie be delicious at gmail.com. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I keep oh, that's right. I was working on my trailer. So I call it a trailer. It's really a, a motorhome. And the motorhome has uh, got a huge engine. It's like Ford F53 um, engine in it. And I've pretty much torn apart the whole entire sterling column, um, replaced all the. She's going to email you her stuff inside the steering column. Um, is Smith with Juju a man or a woman? I don't, I don't know. I think she's a girl. <laughs> Are you a man or a woman, Smitten? Smitten with Juju. She's one of my biggest fans. I think fans. she's a, she, yeah, she's been a fan of yours for years. For years. Thanks, for thanks years. for watching. We appreciate it. Yeah. There's a, a guy from Canada too, him and his yeah. sister yeah. watch me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So Tony and I are good friends. I actually dated him for a moment. He's a horrible person to date. But and he's not a he's not a mean person or a bad person. He's just horrible to me because I'm like so relaxed. I'm not a bit Sorry, of a Smitten. She's a woman. Sorry, I can't see. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> I apologize. Dilbert. Dilbert Doe says hello. Hello, Dilbert. Dilbert's been a fan of yours for a long time. Yeah, too. yeah. A lot of fans. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll just include myself in the show, right? Right? So I, I literally, I, I've, as you can tell, I don't really have a wig on today. I'm just wearing a hat. Um, for those people who already know that I've come out about, yes, I wear a wig for, you know, keeping my identity hidden. Well, Jonathan Hoover's a woman? All right. Well, I mean, I wouldn't care That's a if cool they name. were transgender or orthodite or... Woman, man. Smitten nice people. misses the old trailer park Aww. where we filmed. We f we filmed in like how many we different places? We filmed in so many different locations. <laughs> we kept we kept moving. You kept moving, yeah. And I'm never in a permanent situation because it's super expensive to be on your own. Yes, I make like 15 bucks an hour, and I make a little tiny bit on YouTube, but not much, not enough to support yourself. Like I could probably support myself as a homeless person. <laughs> YouTube, so please share share the videos with all your share friends. Share the videos with all your friends and family. That's right. <laughs> oh, look at this flower phone. Aww, we actually spend phone. more money on buying than you than we get yeah, probably we spend more money on groceries. Groceries. Well, but you do get free products too. And so I. What do you guys? I mean, George. I from Idaho Falls. He sent me like some pans and. I've used them in a couple of my videos. There's one pan I haven't quite figured out. It's a Cuisine Art or Cuisine Art or whatever. And it, I think it's a simmering pan. It might be something that you could cook like a Salisbury steak. But when you're a single person and you don't have kids at home anymore, I mean, literally, you're cooking for one person. So I just, 
I mean, other than making the videos like today, I mean, I really don't cook for but me. Like, we're talking bologna sandwiches and um, ramen noodles. No, I don't really eat ramen noodles anymore, but... <laughs> She says, please stay consistent. You went MIA. Just for a month. Huh. Your fans miss you, she says. Yeah. That's nice. How long do you want to go with this? I mean, I we... It's at 15 minutes now. Right. So we're at 15 minutes. Well, we could probably... I could probably um, go to regular video for, um, you know... Luci all intents and purposes. Lucienne, she just emailed you. So good to see you back. <laughs> Lucienne Morales. Well, she's a... Been a fan of yours for a long time. Yeah, too. a lot of, a lot of different. Do you check? Do you check an email? I do check my emails. I mean, I just got a couple emails recently from people uh, with some really amazing recipes that they shared with me, and I'm gonna make them eventually. But you know, I think the consistency is important with YouTube. You're right, but I also have a full-time job <laughs> and lots of things that I volunteer for. Like I volunteered for. Habitat for Humanity, and I pounded over 500 nails that day into the wall. So, there you go. When you're involved in the community, you know, you just, I guess I could always bring my camera when I'm involved in the community and do live videos. That's a good idea, maybe. Um, and, you know, I'm constantly working on something like working in the yard, or we just have regular lives. So, this is uh, my fun time, my day off today, and, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. So do we get to see you cook? I'm hungry. <laughs> Someone M1005018. Yes. We're cooking a we're gonna record a show. You can't do I suppose you could do both. Live and show or no? Well I could do a show but then I would have to I mean it's gonna be an hour and a half for this chicken to cook plus the prep ten minute prep. Oh, that's right. I guess I can do the ten minute prep, so the foil makes for for, for, for nice light reflection. <laughs> um, Jeannie, so like said, oh, mainly cooking food. show says you're so beautiful. Oh, that's so sweet. Mainly cooking show. I like that name. So we've got these little peppers, and I don't know if you guys have ever tried these little tiny mini peppers, but they're so yummy, and especially when they're barbecue. Um, I'm just going to throw them in some tin foil. I call these like little lunch packets because, right I mean, from Maine. Nice. Do you want to uh, do a pause now or do you want to continue? Is that, we're at 17 minutes. No, nope, we're good. Keep going? Just keep going. So we'll just do live. Let's do this. What if we did pause and then go back on for the Does prep? Does it have pause? Uh, I don't think you can pause on live. It's either live or not. And then we have the potatoes. And I'm just going to get them prepped ready and then when we get to the stove, we'll just make them. Thanks. Uh, Smitten is saying goodbye. She has to go back oh. to work. Bye, Smitten. And Doretta says, I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> Thanks for coming on live, you sweet and beautiful lady. Oh, okay. Doretta. Thanks, Doretta. And then I just have butter. And I'm going to throw butter in both of them. But for people who have made drunken chicken before, uh, the best way to do it is to marinate the chicken overnight and the seasoning that you're going to cook in the next day. So I'm just going to cut up some of this butter. Sure, you don't want to stop and do another. Start to show. Like we should. I'm just gonna cut. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. You're not gonna cook. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. So, anybody do any. Tell me about your pride adventures. Anybody do the pride march this week or last week or this week? You're month welcome. Before? You're welcome. Smitten. Well, maybe we'll see you in August. I know you'll see Jeannie. <laughs> I don't know. She said thanks. She thanked the cameraman. That was nice of her. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yes, we're gonna hope to do some more, more fun shows. 
Cameraman, do you eat rump roast often? <laughs> AKA Genie's booty? No, I used to. Oh when my we were God. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> RJ Scum. Potatoes. His name is RJ Scum. Thanks, RJ. That is a scum thing nice. to say. <laughs> That's okay. I have a good sense of humor. So. We're, we're exes, so I used to eat, but not anymore. I, I don't really, that's the uncomfortable subject that you never want to have with your exes, so I prefer not to have them. He says, LOL, nice. I like the life. I like being I mean, involved in like the life. It's like when you walk in a grocery store and you recognize <laughs> somebody and it takes a minute to realize that you had sex with them at one point in your life. But Tony and I are not that way. I mean, because we've had to work with each other because we have this TV show to get together. We're partners as far as this goes. He's actually got a really nice girlfriend. Somebody that can handle him. <laughs> see, see, you can have, this is where you can have more fun. When I'm filming you, you get to, you get to have more fun. It works better. All right, so you see that packet? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two packets from the chickens like halfway cooked and I'm going to stick them around the chicken and right on the barbecue. Nickel the Wise for the same grocery store experiment and I'm being pinched for shopping. <laughs> Nickel the Wise is an old, just oh, joined Nickel us. Oh, Nickel the Wise is the guy's name. Yeah, Okay. he's an old viewer. Missing is uh, good booze, good booze and music. Because barbecues should have good booze and music. <laughs> and of course, all venties, so that they can get a, a more smoky flavor in them. All right. There's those. <laughs> oh, Cat G just joined, so happy to see you. Love you and your channel. <laughs> Cat G. What's up, G girl? We got this the yucky chicken. <laughs> How am I going to open it? I don't ever know at this point in time. But all I can think about at this point in time is salmonella. <laughs> oh my god. What did I do this for? Um, It'll cook out, right? Right, it'll cook out. We'll just use the butter. Do you want to use the water? I need to open We the needed packet. a knife. And I got one in my car because I put the knife in my car. Should we pause it? Let's do nope. this. Let's pause and then get your knife and then we'll. Does it allow you to pause? I don't think it allows you to pause. Or we could just do another continuation of this because it's pretty long 24 minutes. That's okay. 24 minutes. I'll be right back going to my car. Oh, what did I do? I don't know. Well, Jonathan says, you're beautiful. I love your show. <laughs> love you and your show. That's nice. Stop this one and then. So, the nice thing about a barbecue is you have all these paper towels underneath. You can just throw them underneath. Your bed. We're going to fill this up with the cat. But here's a special knife. So, my dad passed away in 2009, and this is a knife from him. Um, it's a coast cutlery made in Portland, Oregon. I keep a knife in my car just in case I get in a wreck and I need to cut my seat belt or break the window. Um, it has a nice metal that goes all the way down it. So if I need to, I can corner punch the window with it. So we'll just remember that this section is the nasty section for seminars. <laughs> Because I'm sure there's innards in here, and I definitely want to pick the innards because innards are the best part of the chicken.
barbecue's not going right at the moment, so we'll just put it under there. I don't save the neck, but if you're going to make soup, the neck is a good thing to save. And there's probably a liver, for sure. And maybe a heart. Here, I'll move for you. We're going to put that salmonella all over the ground. <laughs> and I like to pull that little thing of fat on the bottom. I don't know if anybody else does the same thing, but I just don't like it. The thighs are my least favorite parts of the chicken. I'm going to have to sanitize everything. <laughs> freaking out a little bit. Um, so we're just not going to cook those today. Just remember this salmonella section. <laughs> Alright, so basically, you look at the chicken's vagina. <laughs> so it kind of looks like a vagina. And there's the baby, right? And you're going to shove the beer can upside the chicken, basically. Um, but, before I do that, I'm going to rub it down with some spices and seasoning and get some little tinfoil and wrap it up in tinfoil. And the chicken's literally going to set in the coals like this with the beer can on. With the legs and stuff, it'll, it'll be able to stand up on its own. And I'm going to set it right on the briquette, the tinfoil between the briquette. So, it should be good. All right, well, join me for my video. We're going to go ahead and disconnect some wife and look forward to seeing my whole entire recipe for a drunken chicken. Love you guys. Bye. Where are you, where are you stopping? Are you ready to... to...